Hi everyone, I'm Fabio from High Hertz Project and today I'm gonna show you the Moher GTRS S801. This guitar is a really smart guitar because basically you don't need anything to play with this guitar. You don't need any amplifier, you don't need any pedals, you don't need anything because basically are all built in. Here there are a software that basically allows you to run digitally pedals amplifiers and stuff like that so really really amazing but let's start saying that this guitar can also be used without the uh, built-in software so you can use the guitar normally with your amplifier at home and basically this is the sound of the guitar itself so only the di Okay, really basic. You can use this guitar as it is. So basically the guitar is equipped with two single coils, Alnico 5, all the pickups are Alnico 5, and one unbucker. The pickups are stock from Moher, and also the bridge is original GTRS by Moher. You have as normal Fender style five way switch, one volume, one tone, and this is called Super Knob. So this super knob allows you to use all the software inside. The body is a basswood, the neck is roasted, and the fingerboard is again roasted maple. All the tuners are stock from GTRS. Normally, this looks like a Fender Stratocaster style, but with one upgrade. In my opinion, the jack. As you can see, the jack is on the edge. Normally, the Fender style is here, and in my opinion, it's really annoying to see the a jack here i prefer to have on the edge of the guitar so for me this is a great upgrade talking about the guitar itself is really comfortable the neck is a c shape but really modern really thin i really like the the, the comfortability and how you can run fast with this neck really great let's talk about the software that actually you can use with your phone and ipad not desktop basically with this software you can run presets as you want, you can run tuner, you can run guitar pedals, amplifiers and also different emulations for your pickups. So basically this is a single coil but you want that this sounds like a Les Paul or a different single coil, strat style, tele style, you can do that. So let's deep dive into the software. Of course you have to power on your guitar, so the software, so you have to turn the knob clockwise is searching okay found and this is my guitar is loading now it's loading all the presets because basically it's telling to the software to use four different presets you can use up to four presets uh, in one song basically because you can have different banks and four presets per each banks as you can see now we can click on the maintenance we can see our uh, guitar here on the tab you can see all the preset that you have you have basically nine different banks and each banks is named a b c d because you have four different presets so let's say that i want to use uh, the bank nine and here i have the 80s solo so right now if i play i have this sound <laughs> This is an hypothetic 80s solo but pressing the knob once I can choose another preset so right now I'm in the mad chug preset <laughs> pressing again I'm now in the violet color the color is changing accordingly to the preset and now I'm in the smooth drive <laughs> I can switch pickup. Again, I can switch and I have the USA method. If 
if I press again, basically I'm cycling from these four presets. So again, I have the 80s solo. So basically you can choose four different presets for your main song. And when you switch song, you can use other four different presets depending on the bank that you can create. This is great. You can also manage these stock presets. Basically, you can go here on the knob that is blinking. You can click the knob and you can see basically everything. You can see all the routing. So you have the dynamic, the boost, amplifier, cabinet, modulation, delay and reverb. And you can toggle what you want and you can also change the parameter. So basically, the amplifier. Let's go to the amplifier. You can see you can choose different amplifiers here. So let's choose basically the EV5050. Let's listen. I can manage the parameter of this amplifier. So let's gain, for example. <laughs> I can also change the page to see all the parameters, the master, the volume, the presence. Okay, and you can do this for each kind of pedals, for example, dynamics. You can choose different dynamics, as you can see, auto wah, noise gate, EQ, you can choose boost. For the overdrive, you can toggle on and off, simply touching once. It's really, really simple. And maybe you want also to share this preset with the community. You can go here, share. As you can see, 80s solo, I can call it, let me say, this is a try, a demo. Okay, you can have description, type, it's of course a night gain. Okay, now the community can use your preset, but you can also download, of course, presets from the community. You can go here on the cloud and you can search between lots of different presets um, loaded by different users. You can also choose high gain and you can see only the high gain tones. You can also select and try a preset before download. <laughs> Okay, and if you like, you can download. And let me talk also about what else you can do. Well, we can go here on the settings and as you can see, you can do lots of things. You can practice with a drum pattern. So basically, if you go here to drum, as you can see, you can choose between the style, the BPM, the volume of the drum. Let's play now. Okay, and stuff like that it was very, very fast <laughs> drum playing. <laughs> but you can also use a looper. So basically you can play, you can record, and you can also play with the drum that you listened before. Really, really great. So you can do your practice, you can use for your, basically your street performance. This is really great. You have here the mixer that you can manage all the input and output so your guitar your main out the volume of your backing track for example for the drum you can also see here the chord basically you can learn how to play guitar you have here the tuner but you can also reach the tuner pressing and holding the knob the super knob pressing basically as you can see there is no more the tuner pressing tuner so this is really really fast you have also the global settings and this is really useful because you can say to the software how you are using the guitar for example now i'm using directly to my audio interface so it's correct to say interface mixer but i can also use this directly to a power amp or directly with the headphones you can also practice basically without anything no amplifier no pedals directly with the headphones and you can listen 
a great tone with the great amplifiers. You have the global EQs, the input gain, and super knob. Here you can decide the style of your pickups. You can go here basically on GTRS, you can see this view of your guitar, and as you can see, if I move my five-way switch, it's changing also the name of the position. As you can see, the position number one, which is the position of the unbucker, I choose to have the 58 Les Paul style. So this is really an unbucker of a Les Paul. Going up in second position, I have always GTRS original tone. So basically is the tone of the pickups without any emulation. But I can also choose to have a different sound. For example, with this position, so with the neck position, I can choose here from the tab, I can also change the treble, mid, mid shift, so all the equalization basically, and I can also go here and choose between different kind of emulation. For example, the JP Piezo is the John Petrucci Piezo. So let's try to sound like a Piezo. Then, for example, on the position number four, here I can choose for example, a sure classic, and so on and so forth. Now I'm in the first position, and this is the JP Piezo, because as you can see, it's recalling. If I move, it's recalling which kind of emulation I chose. JP Piezo. <laughs> Let's listen to the differences between the stock Again, JP Piezo. Great, let's change now to the fourth position. We have the Sure Classic. GTRS original, original, and finally the unbucker. So summarizing, who is this for? Well, in my opinion, is primarily for beginners because basically you don't need anything else than this guitar. With the guitar, you have all the pedals you want, all the amplifiers you want. You don't need any extra cable connecting your pedals. The amplifiers are expensive, are heavy. So for beginners is great. And I think also that only the guitar itself without any of this technology is worth the price. Secondly, I think that this is great for street artists, so you don't have to carry with you all the amplifier, mixers and stuff like that, all AV stuff. And also for gig guitarists, because basically when you finish to play, you unplug your cable, you can place the guitar in your soft bag and you can go home <laughs> very, very fast. Guys, this was Fabio for Higher Heads Project. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.